first goal was, you know, just to get to college, you know, just to earn a scholarship, you know, go somewhere and play football. And, uh, you know, I was able to, you know, achieve that. And then, you know, once I got to college, you know, I wanted to, you know, achieve more goals. You know, I was raised in Charlotte all my life uh, by my two parents. Been playing football, well, been playing sports really in general, you know, since I was six. So, you know, playing a little different uh, sports, football, basketball, baseball, and even ran track in uh, high school. You know, being around a different competition, being around a lot of, you know, different players, playing different sports all my life, you know, I think that kind of, you know, helped me with my skill set, you know, being able to do different things. When I was in ninth grade, uh, we had weightlifting class. You know, our weightlifting coach, he wanted us to lift weights before we can hit the field. So that's kind of, you know, how it was. And I started getting into it and getting stronger and stronger each year. At first, I mean, it was kind of annoying because, you know, was, I was getting sore and, then, you know, like I, I didn't like that feeling. But, you know, once I started, you know, realizing how important it was, you know, and the transition from, you know, the, the weight room to the field was, I mean, I started loving it. My weight started going up. My uh, maxes started going up and I just, you know, I felt like I was getting real strong. It was my high school offense coordinator, uh, Coach Brand. He taught me a lot. My freshman year, he saw something in me that a lot of people didn't. He kind of pushed me, basically made me the man who I am today. Uh, he made me work harder. Uh, I remember my junior year, I had to run a play like eight times over. I mean, just because, you know, he wanted to see me be great. He's probably has been my biggest motivator. I played safety all my sophomore year, had like a 103 yard interception return for pick six. And, you know, they, they, they figured out, you know, I need to play on the offense side of the ball. So they moved me to, uh, it was like receiver type, receiver type H back, what I'm doing type now. In my senior year, I started, I was really just playing a little bit of everything, you know, running back, receiver, wildcat quarterback. And then, you know, uh, Coach Faulkner, my recruiting coach out of NC State, that's when he came along. and. I mean, that, that's kind of how, you know, I got to NC State. You know, he told me I was going to basically be doing the same thing I was doing in high school. And that's, uh, I mean, he stuck to his word and that's kind of how, how everything worked out. I came in, you know, the fat, chubby, chubby guy, you know, I was eating real good at home before I came into college. Uh, I was about 235 with a lot of body fat. After my freshman year, I started to realize how important it was to take care of your, you know, your nutrition. I just changed my eating habits and uh, dropped down to 225, you know, my sophomore year. And then I had a great year my sophomore year, so I kind of stayed at 225, you know, for the rest of my career. I feel like my sophomore year probably might have been my best year. I was able to uh, achieve, you know, first team all uh, ACC. And, uh, you know, I felt like, you know, that year I kind of, you know, really put my name on the map and then it, it just kind of went on from there. Them choosing me to wear number one, uh, it, it was a huge tradition. Coach Doran and his coaching staff, that, that's kind of the way they do it at NC State. It was also other guys on the team who voted me. You know, it, it was a very good accomplishment to be able to wear number one for two years. It has been an improvement of me watching film, you know, from my junior year to my senior year. Uh, you know, the, the, main, the main thing was, you know, you know, just not to watch film, but you know, how to watch film, and, you know, what to look at. So I think, I think Coach Falk did a good job with me, you know, my senior year, you know, as I was going up there to get extra film work in, you know, after practice, you know, we had classes in the afternoon and then, you know, I'd go back up to the Murph and uh, watch extra film with Coach Falk. And, you know, he'll kind of help me look at the plays that we're running from that week and then kind of match it on with, with whoever we plan. So players like technique, their weakness, their strengths and weaknesses, their tendencies, what they like to do and what they don't like to do. So I think I, I, I made you know improvements by watching film. I really rarely looked at the playbook. Football kind of comes natural to me. I'm a visual learner type. So once I see it a couple of times, run through it a couple of times, we also had a lot of walkthroughs before every practice. So that's kind of how I like grasped the, you know, the playbook and got the plays. So really just looking at the playbook and looking at, you know, what I got to do, it kind of don't help me. I got to actually see it and then, you know, I, I get a feel for it. They have everything here for you, so I feel like, you know, I've learned a lot.
Mobility was is, is a huge thing, you know. You know, it comes into play, you know, with those those type drills, you know, with the, the pro agility drill. You, you gotta have ankle mobility, you know, to be able to bend down, touch the line and get back out and burst. So I mean, you know, all that with the rehab and you know the recovery stuff, you know, they have to, uh, a, a cold tub and a hot tub outside for us. So, you know, they have great PTs. If I can give one advice, you know, just keep working, keep grinding. Always feel as somebody's watching you, you know, don't don't never, you know, half step or, you know, do less reps, you know, just keep pushing and uh, I mean, your time is going to come. This is what I've been working for all my life, you know, just to get, I mean, I was just blessed. So, you know, I'm going to push for that extra rep and I'm going to do the extra stuff that I need to do, you know, so my body can be ready. I'm going to give all I got.